In this section, I'm going to talk about two different commands. These commands are used to advertise different BGP routes into BGP table. The first one is network command. We have seen network command in different IGP protocols. With network command in an IGP protocol, we, we choose which networks are advertised into, uh, for example, EIGRP or OSPF or RIP. But there is a difference, uh, there is a difference between the network command in BGP and in IGP. In IGP network command checks to see if any interface that is connected to that router uh, is in the range of uh, what we have entered here. And if it is in the range, it is going to be advertised into uh, that IGP protocol. In BGP network is used to check the routing table. If any route in routing table falls into the range, it is going to be advertised into BGP. And the second one is redistribute. Redistribute is essentially uh, the same as what we see, uh, what we see in IGP. Redistribute and redistribute again checks a routing table and select some routes and advertises them into BGP and of course you can use redistribute to redistribute different routes into other IGPs or from other IGPs into BGP. I'm going to examine both of these and show you the differences. So suppose that we have some routes on router 8 and we want to advertise it into BGP. So let's go to router 8. Of course I have removed BGP from some of these routers so let me check to see which router has, uh, you know, BGP, uh, BGP process on that. I know that router 4 has, so let's go to router 4 on that side. Yes, we have BGP running here. So if I check IP protocol, you can see that BGP 100 is working. And if I check show IP BGP, I can see that some routes has been advertised. Some of them has come from router three that is connected to BB1, and some of them uh, have been received from. Let me find it. Uh, from uh, from uh, BB2 that is in AS12. So they have been advertising to BGP. But what I'm going to do is to go to configuration mode and go to router BGP process. Now I'm going to use network command. Before using network command you should check the route that you are going to advertise into BGP. Right now I'm going to advertise one of my interfaces but you can advertise any route in your routing table. So if I go to show IP route result I can see that there are routes present in my routing table. Some of them are connected. Some of them are advertised using BGP. Some of them are uh, advertised using EIGRP. And of course, you may have some static routes as well. But here, what I'm going to do is to use one of the one of the uh, connected interfaces. It doesn't matter. Uh, but you should check the prefix and you should make sure that the prefix is correctly advertising to BGP. Otherwise you are going to have problem. And and let's create a loopback interface. Interface loopback 44. An IP address is going to be 110 44 44 44 and I'm going to use 32 bit mask here. So if I go to rather BGP 100 and try to advertise this into BGP table. If I show IP route 110, 44, 44, 44, you can see that this has a 32-bit mask and this is very important. So when you are advertising this using network command, you are going to have 110, 44, 44, and this is 32-bit mask. So I'm going to type the whole IP address and then type mask and the mask is going to be 255 255 255 255 and hit enter okay now if i check ip bgp table i can see that this is advertising to bgp table and if i 
had used a, 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 a wrong mask for this, I wouldn't see this in my BGP table. Let's do that. If I remove this, and instead of that, use an incorrect mask, for example, 24-bit mask, and you can see that I am matching this part with the mask, and hit enter. Now if I check IP BGP table, I cannot see that in BGP table, although I have advertised this. And that's because this is not the correct mask. If I check the routing table, I can see that the correct mask is 32-bit. And because network command in BGP checks the routing table, and it sees that this is a 32-bit mask, it sees that there is no such route in your routing table. It is not going to advertise anything. So you should be very careful about what you are advertising. So I am going to correct this. And now if I check my BGP table, I can see that it is in my BGP table. Now, some some attributes are very important. First of all, you should see that this is a best route. That means this is completely accessible. Um, right now, this is accessible because we are on router 4. That is the advertiser. And, of course, this is connected to router 4. But we could advertise this in any other router. It doesn't matter if that is a connected interface. As far as uh, BGP is concerned, it is going to check the route in routing table, and it doesn't check the connected interfaces or other interfaces. Okay, and the second thing, the next hop right now is 0000, zero, zero, zero. that means this is uh, connected to me, so I do not need to send it to any other router. And of course, if you go to the end, here you can see an origin code. The origin code can be I for IGP, E for EGP and uh, question mark for incomplete. Uh, question mark can be seen when you use redistribute command. I is here because we know that the origin is IGP. And, and by IGP right now I mean anything that is in my routing table using EIGRP BGP or connected or even a static okay so I know uh, this is uh, connected or I know this is an EIGRP route or any other uh, you know routing table a any other routing protocol that is used to advertise this into my uh, routing table I am aware of that so I just mark it IGP okay let's go to other routers let me show IP BGP summary to check my neighbors. Right now, router 3 is a neighbor. So if I go to router 3 and check show IP BGP command, I can see that this is advertised. The first I here means that this is an internal route. This is inside of AS100. And if I go to the end again, I can see this I. This is an attribute that tells me this route has been advertised into BGP from an IGP that is, uh, you know, known to us. We know about that. Okay, let's go to router 4 and do something else. Assuming that I have another lookback interface, I want to have lookback 45. An IP address is going to be 110, 45, 45, 45, and this is going to be 24-bit mask this time. Okay, I'm going to advertise this into BGP. Again, I'm using a loopback interface that is connected. As I told you, you don't have to go for connected interfaces. Anything in your routing table will, will be advertised into BGP. Uh, table using network or redistribute command. This time I'm going to use redistribute command. And your redistribute command is exactly the same as what you have seen in uh, EIGRP, OSPF, or RIP. So before going to use this command, I'm going to use a route map. And the route map 
name is loopback45 and I'm going to match interface and the interface is going to be loopback45 so the only thing that I'm going to redistribute is loopback45 so if I go to rather bgp100 and use redistribute command redistribute this time I'm going to use connected interfaces but there is a route map the route map is loopback45 and hit enter now I have redistributed this into uh, BGP by redistribution we don't care about the origin so if I go and check show IP BGP command I can see this question mark at the end of this route this means that we are not sure about the origin and we don't care about the origin I don't know if this is a connected or this is uh, you know from a BGP from a, an EIGRP or any other routing protocol I just redistribute it so if I go to router 3 and check IP BGP table again I can see the same thing right here the question mark at the end and this means that this route has been redistributed into uh, BGP and this is for exterior gateway protocol E and we do not see this these days so I'm not going to talk about that